What's going on guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Reefer, coming at me in today's video, which is how I got fish eggs delivered in a normal envelope. So, let's go. So, for those of you who've been watching the channel, We've recently come off the back of the um, what's now been officially known as the Jumanji Jungle tank build, courtesy of my boy Jack Harvey, who aptly named that. Uh, I will leave a link uh, in the description above so you guys can see the tank that I'm on about because the fish or eggs that we got delivered today, when these are grown out, are going to be going into the uh, Jumanji Jungle build. So. Trawling the internet, looking at various different sort of wonderful species of fish, thinking what do I want to get in here, I want it to be a bit of a focal point for the fish room and stuff like that, and that's where I've come across um, the, I'm gonna, I can't call it by its Latin name, because I won't be able to uh, read it out, but it's the uh, Corthusa Mafia uh, killifish. So the killifish are a sort of South, uh, Southeastern Asian um, fish, that grow in rice fields and stuff like that. Now, what they do is they will lay eggs as the summer season comes and the rice fields drain all of their water. Obviously, it goes barren. Um, so in essence, what happens is the eggs actually go into like a hibernation stage. They can stay in that hibernation stage for years upon years upon years on end until the water returns and sort of reactivates the eggs. Now, they come in a little packet like this. Excuse the condensation. These cost me five ninety nine off eBay, so I thought may as well give it a go. You don't see killifish rarely in uh, local pet stores and stuff like that because they are quite hard to uh, to raise up. They're estimated to be about sort of uh, around thirty eggs that are in the front of here. Now there's not going to be a hundred percent success rate on these or anything like that. Even if there is a hundred percent hatch rate. There definitely won't be 100% survival rate because they are quite a difficult fish, like I say, to raise on. But I think it'll make an awesome little mini series for you guys on the channel. So they're coming here, sort of wrapped up in this. This is sort of aquarium, uh, I say aquarium peat moss. This is just normal sort of um, compost, organic uh, that the fish eggs are laid into. Um, and they go like a sort of golden colour. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay them out on this piece of tissue paper so you guys can see them. Uh, and I'll switch the camera around and I'll guide you through sort of what we're going to do to be able to sort of get these guys growing out. So, so there you go. So they come in a, um, <clears throat> a resealable bag. So in essence, all you want to do is just sort of unbutton it. Obviously being gentle not to crush any of the eggs that are in there. Check there's nothing left in the bottom. So there's a tiny bit in that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to gently spread this out just so I can show you guys what some of the eggs are going to look like. And when you know that they're ready to start hatching. So that's them all sort of laid out. Now there are sort of um, eggs here and here, but I don't think you guys are going to be able to sort of see them up there on the camera. You might just be able to see some sort of back there. But again, it's basically it just looks like um, a sort of golden grain of sand, if you like. Uh, and that is pretty much sort of how you tell uh, that they're ready for hatching because you'll be able to actually see like two little black dots, which in essence is the um, the tiny sort of fright eye. Now these aren't actually supposed to be ready to hatch until the uh, 20th of March. We're currently on the 5th of March, but like I say, they are sort of golden up already. Look like they're ready to sort of hatch out. So all we do now is just get a little Tupperware tub. Uh, fill it full of um, dechlorinated tap water, so just leave your tap water sitting overnight uh, for about an hour or so and then <clears throat> just literally drop them into the water as you can sort of see there 
the soil will sort of separate and sit on top of the surface of the water uh, and then the eggs will sit in there at the bottom now I know you guys sort of can't see anything on the camera at the moment because I'm struggling to see them uh, with my naked eye however I know there's at least 10 eggs in here currently at the moment so all we do then is we get a air stone gently sort of place that into the water now you don't need anything sort of stupid on here that there is probably more than enough circulation um, on the water now as with anything when we're breeding out fish in the fish room and stuff like that the hardest thing to do is to actually raise up the fry so I've got a cultivation of uh, micro worms there that I've just begun so again there'll be a full video link series on that in regards to sort of how we get that started uh, and whatnot so let me just place you guys back down and I'll just drop this into the water now make sure everything's off the tissue paper and everything's sort of sinking through so that's sort of what it looks like there at the moment so give it all a mix through make sure it's all sort of sat into the water so there are no eggs floating on the surface or anything like that which is great obviously this video is a little bit sort of short and sweet um but this is sort of all we've got time for today uh, on this series like i say it's a very sort of quick minimalistic thing to do um but hopefully we'll get some sort of fantastic results and then we'll be able to sort of keep breeding these out um and i'll be able to sort of give some away online for some of you lucky lucky viewers uh, in the meantime as always Head over to my Facebook and Twitter, which is at the Balding Reefer. Head over to my Instagram, which is at the dot balding dot reefer, because you will see sneak peeks, uh, pictures, and mini videos of these before I actually do the uh, YouTube updates. Um, if you are watching your phone, if you are watching this video on your phone, should I say? Uh, if you can scroll, if you swipe up on your screen at the moment, you'll be able to see the subscribe button. Hit that for me, and um, so you can actually watch these guys grow out uh, and grow with the fish room. But other than that, as always, Balding Reefer, out.